I know some of you are really struggling with this. Because for some of you, you're going, well, you're just, you know, you're, you're just, you know, you're making it sound, you're giving people license to just go sin. You know, you've cheapened grace. Or you, you give people license to just go out and do whatever they, they want to. So you're telling me, Bob, come on, you're telling me that once I've got my meal ticket, like, like once I've got my fire insurance, like I've got my get out of hell free card, like, like you know, I pray, the pray, like I receive Christ, like you're telling me I can do whatever I want and I can go to heaven. Is that what you're telling me? That's exactly what I'm telling you. Oh, Lord Jesus, <laughs> And if that makes you uncomfortable, it's because you get it. <laughs> if that makes you squirm, it's because you get it. If that makes you say, but I would never do, exactly. You wouldn't, but God would. And that's why it is amazing, amazing, undeserved, Amazing grace. Hey, bro, come on now, dog. Come on, man. It was a mom at, at a different church who called and said her teenage son was just killed and was asking if he would do the funeral. See, what had happened is that these two teenage boys, I think they were seniors at the time, that they were driving through their subdivision going way too fast lost control of the car, ran into a telephone pole. The boy that was driving got out of the car, limped away to go get help while this lady's son passed away in the car. And so this lady calls and says, will you please do the funeral? See, my friend years ago used to be the youth pastor at this church. And this young man was in his youth group. And the last conversation that my friend had with this young man was when he was 14 years old at youth camp was when he was 14 years old at youth camp. And the conversation, see, the, the kid didn't want to be at youth camp. His parents wanted him to be at youth camp, but he didn't want to be at youth camp. He was very frustrated that he had to be there at youth camp. And so he pulled his youth pastor aside and he says, listen, man, I just want you to know, and I'm an I've now decided to be an atheist. I've now decided to be an atheist, and here's the reasons why. So he kind of walks through all that kind of stuff. And so when he, uh, so he told the mom, he said, yeah, I'll, I'll do the funeral. Now, just imagine, I mean, this was the last conversation that they had. I mean, this was the last conversation that they had before now he finds out that he had passed away. So he, he goes to the funeral, and, and uh, there's all, I mean, when you, if you've ever been to a, a funeral of a teenager, uh, there's usually tons and tons and tons of students. And again, he went there, and a lot of them kind of looked like they also kind of held his same beliefs where they didn't really care about God or didn't care about the church or any of those kind of things. And so, so again, in his mind, he's like, what do I say in front of literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of students? that packed out this place. But see, the youth pastor knew something about this kid that all his friends didn't know. And so he shows up to the funeral, and one of his friends decides to read the horoscope of the day that he died because his mom had let the friends be able to plan the whole funeral. So then they have some music, and then my buddy gets up to give the message. And again, he knew something that had happened that these kids didn't know. See, he knew when this young man was 10 years old at a kid's camp, he had approached the children's pastor and said, I really want to accept Christ. And so the children's pastor walked him through to make sure he really understood what he was asking for. And do you really believe that Jesus is the son of God? And you know, walk through all that. And do you believe he died for you? Absolutely. And so when he was 10, he prayed to receive Jesus Christ as his savior. Hold it now. Hold it now. Wait. Wait a minute. It was when he was 14 years old at youth camp. I've now decided to be an atheist. Hold up. Hey. And so the youth pastor stands in front of this large crowd. And he says, as you know, you know, he used the young man's name. He says, you know, he, he, uh, he wasn't much into authority. And of course, all the kids started laughing. And he goes, and I was that authority in his life uh, at that time of his life. And they laughed even more. And, and, uh, and he says, um, you know, the last conversation that me and the young man had was when he told me he was an atheist. Was when he told me he was an atheist. But I want to tell you something else. On the day that he was killed, there were two surprises. The first one was his death. It surprised all of us, saddened all of us. The second surprise 
was that when he opened his eyes on the other side, he was face to face with his loving heavenly father who doesn't change his mind or break his promises. What? Are you, are you serious? And he went on to explain that through the gift of grace and through a momentary act of faith when he was 10 years old, he put his trust in Jesus Christ as his savior who died for his sins. And he said, you could almost hear a pin drop. And in that moment, he had an opportunity to share about the free gift of grace, of salvation with those kids, not because of the lifestyle or because of the good works of that teenager, but he got to share it because of the grace and the mercy and the love and the faithfulness and the goodness of the one who saved him. The lies! There you the go, lies. this bitch. The lies. We out of here. And I want to give a quick shout out to the Zetas, and I'm hoping I'm messing this up, the Betas who are here representing. And I want to give a quick shout out to the Zetas, and I'm hoping I'm messing this up, the Betas who are here representing. If I said that properly, uh, I want to say Zetas and Sigmas. Zetas and Sigmas. I want to say thank you for joining us here at Impact Church of the Woodlands. We're so delighted that you're here. Hey, we want to say again, welcome to the Zetas and the Sigmas. We're glad that you're here. Welcome to the Zetas and the Sigmas. We're glad that you're here. We're glad that you came to grace us with your presence. Grace us with your presence. Just with your presence. We're delighted you came. Uh, I'm a son of five new pie. Uh, I'm a son of five new pie. But we are glad to have you. We to have you. We thank you. And we're glad that God brought you into our sanctuary this morning. Thank you so much for being here. It's time to say goodbye for now. Well. Back to the drawing board. Welcome to Love, Life, and Marriage with the, the Woods. Woods. I'm Seiko. And I'm Sharon. Welcome to our channel. Please do the following. Please like, subscribe, share. Hit the notification bell at the bottom of this video. That way, whenever we go live and post any content, you'll be one of the first to view it. Also, if you'd like to support the ministry finance, you can do so by clicking the donation links below the bottom of the video. As you can tell, um, we are not too happy right now. And um, I guess we always talk about letting you into our world and letting you know what's going on in our lives. And this is no... Um, this is no different, and um, we're going to try and share as much as we as we can about our Sunday. Um, most likely, our last Sunday at the church that we thought was a a perfect fit for for me and and my family. And even that's kind of up in the air because we don't even know how this is going to affect us as a family unit, whether we, my wife and I are going to be the only ones going and whether our two oldest daughters are still going to be attending. Um, but I guess we'll let you all know about it now. So I will, uh, I guess, just start it off mm -hmm. by just saying that we, we, we don't have any intention of attacking anyone. Um, that is not our goal, that is not our heart, that is not what we're about. But we do believe in addressing things, not just in other people's lives that we do videos on, uh, whether it be in Hollywood, whether it be in our communities, or whether it be you know around the world, or whether it be in our own country, our nation, um, whether it be with particular political leaders, whatever the case might be. It's, it's one thing when we talk about, you know, the lives of others, but it's another thing when we have to talk about things that are going on in our own lives. And so we want to be consistent. We want to be transparent as much as possible. We want to be um, as real as possible. I, I, I will have to say that um, this, is, this is disappointing. And if this were a baseball game, this makes strike three. And for us... Uh, for my wife and I, uh, we're out. We're out. 
and we don't take any pleasure or joy in this because we really, really thought that this would be something that we could see ourselves uh, being a part of. I, I will say that the church that we had attended, you know, we 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 enjoyed the worship. We, I mean, we enjoyed really, and I, I believe, I'll let my wife share her thoughts. Um, I, I enjoyed the worship. I, I really did. I, I enjoyed pretty much the, the hospitality, the people, the men's fellowship, uh, all of that. And um, so, you know, making these decisions are not easy, especially when you have family, um, especially when, you know, you've been going to this church and going to that church. And, and it just seems like, why is it that you try to find a church and then when you think that you found one, it's always those things that you, you really, you, you try to work through, but you can't, you can't compromise. You can't jettison biblical principles and convictions. And we'll, we'll share with you some of those things um, in this, in this broadcast. Do you realize it's been 10 months? Yeah, yeah, I guess yeah, because June June would make a yeah. it would have made a, a year that we had been been going to to the to the church. So, yeah. um, so yeah, so so here's here's what here's the final straw for us. Here's what caused us to say, you know, okay, we, we we're we're done. We're, we're tapping out. Um, there's no sense in us trying to, you know, uh, make this work when we don't believe it is. Now, I will say this. Um, do I plan on contacting the pastor? Don't know. I, I don't know. Because there, there are other factors involved uh, with with that. Mm -hmm. And and we can, we can talk about that as well, too. So what's the reason why we've decided to no longer attend um, our church? Uh, it's because... We cannot allow, uh, we cannot condone um, idolatry, paganism, or things that is steeped in and rooted in demonology. We can't do it. And we have been um, wrestling with this. Uh, I'll say I've been wrestling with it for, 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 for a little bit, for a while. Um, but I think the 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 last and final straw came this Sunday. At the time of this recording, it'll be last Sunday. But the Sunday that we attended um, this past this past Sunday that we attended, that that was it. And uh, I, well, I, and the funny thing about it, I knew for me that was going to be it. And um, and I, I had no question or no doubt. That my wife was gonna probably say the same thing. I, we hadn't even mm -hmm. said anything, and I, and I knew that when we were walking out of the sanctuary, going into the foyer, and you said what? <laughs> <laughs> and what did you say? I said, "We are spiritual vagabonds." Now you said that in again. the car. No, you said that in the car. What did you I say? Did? Yeah. What did you oh. say? Walking out when we were um, walking out, and we saw the sister mm -hmm. uh, walking, and, and she was already in the foyer. We were walking toward the foyer. Out the sanctuary, um, and and we was walking, and you said, "Well, that's it." You said, "That's it." Well, I've said that's that it. before, but no, you 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 said, "Well, that's it." I guess we got her. You know, here we go again. And yeah. I said, "Yep." That's, that's what I said. said here, here we go we, again. Said, here we go yeah. again. Yeah. And yeah. so, um, I knew what she meant when she said that. Mm -hmm. Um, and so, what what was it that caused us to now basically say, you know, this is we we, we can't we can't continue to do this. Um, because this was the second, well, and I don't know how, well, I don't even know cause, cause we, we, we're not, I'm not, a, I'm not a frat. My wife is not a, is not a sorrow. Mm -mm. We, we, we have never placed any fraternity, any sorority at all. Our position on that is that we don't believe Christians should be pledging or aligning themselves with that of, of any secret society because mm -hmm. Christianity is not a secret society. Our loyalty is to Christ, and we make our covenant with Him in in in, in marriage. We don't make covenants with demons. We don't make covenants with uh, things that have its roots and its origins um, in paganism. And when I say paganism, I'm not just talking about 
that which is you know non-religious. I'm talking about where you can trace these 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 uh, fraternities and sororities and secret societies back to Satan worship. These these sororities and societies, uh, sororities and fraternities rather, have its roots in pagan gods. Every last one of them has a pagan god that they, that they pledge believe, to. I don't believe that we need those in order to have relationships Absolutely with not. people because that's, that's the claim that I hear a yeah, lot. Absolutely well, not. I just wanted to be a part of something. I just wanted to have my sisters that, you know, that support me and that encourage me, mm. or I just want the brotherhood, you know, type yeah. of thing. We're already part and of all we of should that. be able, We should be able to have that right in the body of Christ. Right. Right. All not right. in some society or some, um, group. Yeah. That's supposed to take the place of the church, right? And it shouldn't, right? I mean, and and that's why I said that we, when we look at these these types of things, um, we can't act as though this is um, this is just minimal. This mm -hmm. is this is you know, it's, it's not it's not of any substance. No, it is. Um, and so I think that when I when I when we talk about this stuff, we um, we have to really be honest with ourselves and and, and ask. The simple question: Why can't the church just just be holy? Why why can't we why can't we be set apart? You know, I don't even know. I don't even know if the pastor is aware of this, and 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 I I'm, I might most likely I probably will, um, because it's going to come it's going to come down to the point to where you know somebody's going to reach out to me if they do, mm. but we'll find out. But nonetheless, um, if the pastor really knows the origins of these of these these fraternities and sororities. Now, I'm going to I'm going to get the benefit of the doubt and say he may not. That's what I said earlier, but then I thought about I'm Okay, like, well, okay, so so okay, tell uh, me. The tell more me. I, the Sorry. more I thought about that, the more I said, okay, you are too learned mm -hmm. in the scriptures mm -hmm. to not know. Okay. You have this is not that's that's not gonna if if when and if you ever bring this up, this is not gonna be the first time he's heard this. So you you're 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 of the persuasion, you're of the conviction. That I am. You can you convinced mm -hmm. that okay okay that he's heard this before. Okay. Now whoever may have brought it to him before may not have been able to bring a biblical perspective. And it was just a preference, or at least it just came off as that. Mm. And not they were not able to provide evidence as to why Christians should not be a part of nor condone such things. Yeah, well, um, I mean, that? no, no, it, it, it's, it's, I mean, it, it's, it's most likely he is. I mean, mm. you know, I, and again, you're the one that's giving benefit. You're, you're the one that's saying no. I believe he does know. I'm the one for the record, ladies and gentlemen, giving benefit of the doubt. Hmm. So see how this switches. Some of y'all would think, okay, he he automatically. No, she's the one that's saying no. I I think he knows. I, I I'm convinced he knows. I'm saying it may be a possibility that he doesn't. But now, would I be surprised if he if the pastor does know, and doesn't think that this is a, an issue of of seriousness and importance? That's possible as well. Too. Because my question would be this. This is what I would ask any believer who claims to be a part of such mm. um, frats or sororities. Mm. My question would be, if you were asked to denounce your membership and you say, oh, no, I can't do that. Mm. What would be holding you to such an allegiance? What, why would you want to give an allegiance to that, to that magnitude, to something or someone or something yeah. that is not rooted and grounded in scripture? Could be, uh, could be from people just out of ignorance. A lot of people don't know the roots and origins of these things. Most, most, most black people don't know. But if you say, I uh, pledge allegiance to no one but to Christ himself, yeah. if I make... I don't, I don't, what's the word? I don't, um, not make a vow, but I don't, 
I guess, make pledges. Yeah, yeah, but I'm, then I'm, people say, well, you say you pledge allegiance to the flag. And that's different because I can, I can be loyal to my country. My country is not, is not telling me to do something. So, and, and there's a sense of loyalty to, to the country that God has you in. Mm-hmm. Now, um, and I mean, people will bring that up. So, yeah. I pledge allegiance to the flag to the United States of America, of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, mm-hmm. indivisible with liberty and justice for all. So, I'm pledging. I'm, I'm. I'm saying I will be loyal to this to this country. Insofar as the, as the country is not, you know, uh, telling me to do anything that violates God's right. word. Right. Well, exactly. I can't. It, it's not. And, and here's another thing. I'm not bowing to a flag. I'm not bowing to a to a country. I'm mm-hmm. not bowing to the Statue of Liberty. I'm not bowing to anybody except God. These 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 um uh, these fraternities and sororities, their ritual handbooks, make them not only pledge to a God a deity but then you you have to bow to it you have to give your your life to that particular uh, uh organization i.e that deity I've, I've read i've read i read one of the ritual books and um mm-hmm. and I'm, I'm asking myself okay is it out of ignorance these people don't realize what they have or, or some people may believe they can be loyal to both a a foreign god and to god but you know they probably don't even see these these uh fraternities and sororities as as you know a form of, of worship so is that not is. the same as being polytheistic or having more than one god yeah it is it's well it's it's it's, it's basically yes yeah, being you, you're basically being you know um duplicitous you're being mm-hmm. you know you, you're having dual loyalties mm-hmm. and god says you should worship me only that's it so you know, and and the reason why this is this is kind of like bothering me is because I already know it's going to be a problem. And what do I mean by that? It's going to be a problem with our with our with our girls because they they like the church, they enjoyed going. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, as their father, you know, wanted them to make biblical decisions and things of that nature. This is going to be a test now to see who are you going to serve and and really test your discernment um, as, as well. So, because it's one thing if 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 I knew that the church was about this and I and, and then I just had everybody go anyway. Yeah. This was all surprise. I mean, you know, and and we're not the only we're not the only couple. Right. We're not the only couple that have issues with this. We're just one of the ones that's now in front of you sharing our story and just being real and transparent. This is not about us trying to, you know, put anybody on blast, but they made the public announcement on their on their channel. I mean, so, they, they streamed it on their channel. This is this is where, you know, first of all, before we even <clears throat> joined the church, mm-hmm. we went through seven weeks mm-hmm. of class. Yep. We first of all, we attended for months before we even went to class. Yes. Then we decided, okay, well, let's. Go. The classes were designed for you to go and find out more about the church. Didn't know about this. That was the purpose of the classes that we attended for seven weeks. Right. And during that seven weeks, they went through um, what the church believes. Mm-hmm. They went through uh, what they don't believe. Right. They went through. Um, I guess kind of an order of right. how they do things. Right. But this was never covered. Never. And so the first red flag was Might as well talk about it. Yeah. The we first are, we, red we kind flag, of talked about we just didn't tie it to the yeah. you know, but let's just deal with it. The right first red flag sure. was that they condone and adhere to tithing. Tithing. So when we heard that, okay, we all know that there is no perfect church. Right. None. Right. There's right. not one. Oh. So you have to decide for yourselves, your family. Y'all have to make that decision. What hill you're willing to die on. Right. So for us, tithing was not an issue for us to say, OK, no, we out of here. Well, OK, why was it an issue? I mean, you... Because we can decide whether or not we want to do that or not. We, right. we believe in free will giving. Right. Um, and there was supposed to be a conversation, but that never happened. No. But for, for whatever reason, God just didn't allow that to become a part of the conversations that he has had with the pastor. Right. And he's had more than one. Yep. But that particular issue never came up. Right. Um, 
so we decided, okay, we're just going to fudge forward. We're going to keep moving forward. Um, we kept going to class. Um, that was the only red flag, I think, at the at beginning. The time, yeah. Yeah, at the beginning. Yeah. And then yeah. we decided, okay, we can deal with that. Right. You know, this is something even that the we statement can deal that, with. But even the statement that he made, mm-hmm. we were willing to say, okay, opportunity presents itself, then... I will ask him, you know, about the statement that he made regarding tithing mm-hmm. and members uh, who don't, um, because I try to, I, I try to now in my life, and have been trying to in my life, to to, to decide which hill I'm going to die on, which mm-hmm. which you know what what which issue I'm going to be going to be willing to go to the mat on. Yeah. Um, and so again, like you said that okay we I know we're gonna do so I mean unless unless you're telling me that in order to be a member I must do this mm-hmm. or if you're telling me in order to me and be in ministry I must do this right. and then you're talking about acting like the IRS and, and making sure that everybody that's serving in mm-hmm. ministry is, is a time actually doing yeah, it. Then, yeah. Then, then we definitely been out no. but that wasn't that wasn't stated so but what was stated was um was that if 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 a person doesn't tithe, they should be ashamed of themselves. So, not that statement not only bothered me, but it bothered other people. Once mm-hmm. we had, you know, just had general conversations about, you know, the the uh, the new membership class, mm-hmm. and people were saying, "Well, dang, I mean, that's kind of that's kind of harsh. That's kind of you know that, that that's that's somewhat, you know, even though I don't think the pastor would have said that he's trying to." Um, not coerce or guilt trip anyone, but that can come across as guilt tripping. Yeah. Uh, it can come across as manipulative. Um, it, it, it can come across as, as people now feeling or concluding in their mind that they're in sin if they don't. Mm-hmm. And so aside from the, aside from the, the scriptures that were being used that did not apply at all to the new Testament model of giving at all. Now, we have some brothers and sisters who believe that the church and Israel are one and the same. Mm-hmm. I do not. And neither does the church that we attend. Right. Which was which was again something that just amazed me because why are we taking Old Testament law and trying to import it over into the New Testament and make that applicable when it comes to tithing? And technically there's more than one tithe. There's three of them. So why aren't we, if you're going to tell people to tithe, then why aren't you talking about all three tithes? Why are you not talking about the welfare tithe? Why are you not talking about the third year tithe? Why are you just talking about the tithe in Malachi? <coughs> you know what I'm saying? So, but we were willing to say, okay, you know what? I mean, <coughs> we're like you said, where I know every church is not, it's not perfect. We don't expect for every church to be. We just want churches to be, consistent and be holy i mean just 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 do what the word of god says and and when it comes to when it comes to morality be obedient to what god's word says any issues that that are gray or that are nuanced there's room and opportunity for us to have those conversations so it, you know we were willing to to, to to press through uh that but that was a strike i think i'm gonna have to get more water that's fine we just, just get up and go dear I, i'll i'll keep people company go ahead i'll, I'll keep people company yeah, she's going to get her water. So anyway, no, it's not. It's just you with this cough, allergies. I know, but but so that was that was one of the and the doors open, jeez. And that was one of the um, issues that we basically, you know, we we kind of like filed it in our mind and said, okay, you know, all right, you know. Now again, there may be some people that may watch this video, and 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 you may follow this channel because you you know follow this channel through the church that we. Um, attended. Again, I'm going to say I'm going to say again. This is not an attack, but these are our concerns, and this is what we share with our viewers. We we allow our viewers to come into our world and come into our space, so we are able to to uh, to let them know the things that we go through and and how we apply them uh, in in our, in our lives. We, we call it love life and marriage with the woods for a reason. It's not it's not a cliche. So I think that. That wasn't that was an issue that we just filed away, 
And mm-hmm. I said, if the opportunity presented itself, we would, I would, I would bring that to his attention because I believe, and since I know it to be true, that there were other people that took umbrage and, and had a serious issue with that statement. Yeah. Um, so it's not, it was, it wasn't just me. So that was one. Um, the second one, which I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to discern whether or not I want to disclose that, but I kind of did, maybe, uh, in one in one video when people were asking about the uh, executive pastor, uh, you know, the status on that. Well, that's not that's not going to happen, and it's not because of me. It just basically um, there was there has been no follow through uh, with that. Uh, for reasons I do not know, um, but I know what was stated to me. I know what was told. I know what was communicated clearly. Um, but for whatever reason, that has not materialized. And so um, I said to myself, okay, I was approached mm-hmm. about this opportunity. I, I did not approach anyone about the opportunity. I, I was approached about it. And so, you know, during that time, we thought that this was something that the Lord, you know, wanted us to basically, you know, venture into doing. And um, and you would think, you know, looking at it, if you were in that situation, um, that this would be something that, wow, okay, if the Lord, you know, had these people contact you the same the same day that you decided, you know, to to leave your your trucking, you know, uh, job mm-hmm. that same day. And then, you know, you find out that you are being offered, you know, a position. And then now to have that position no longer, you know, to even be, you know, uh, spoken, spoken of, of or, or, or discussed, you know, then it kind of, it kind of, you know, makes you wonder, you know. So, um, but again, I know what was stated to me. I know what was told to me. I know what was communicated to me. And I also share that with my wife. And so she is aware and, and knows what, what, it, what was offered. Um but now that has been, you know, uh, I guess you can say dissolved or not even, not even no, no longer mentioned. Um, and again, I'm not, I'm not attacking the, uh, the pastor of the church. I have nothing against this brother at all. I have nothing against any of the people there. But from a doctrinal, from a doctrinal and, and, and from a, uh, an honor standpoint, we, we have concerns. We have biblical concerns about it. And I know some people in the chat and say, well, have you, have you, have you talked to him about it yet? No, I have not. Not even sure if this will be even, even be worth having a discussion at this point. Not sure. I'm going to pray about it, but I'm not sure. <clears throat> yeah. Um, because I don't want to, I don't want to make any decisions uh, out of emotion or out of, you know, saying out of knee jerk reaction. This is not a knee jerk reaction. This is something that we basically say, okay, we, we're going to share with the people what we are dealing with and what we're going through. Because again, we're not the only ones that have been looking for a church. We're not the only ones that, that want to be in a place that, you know, where the word of God is upheld. And again, not saying that, that the church is a false church or anything like that, but we can't allow the world to come in and it, it, it affect how we worship God. Um, and again, the, the, the church advertised fraternities and sororities. For the can second we, week. Can we go back just a little bit, though? Go ahead. Um, you just mentioned that we cannot let <clears throat> certain things affect our worship. worship yes. Or we can allow it to affect how we hear the word of God. Right. Yes. 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 And <laughs> if we're being honest. Go ahead. I, I'm, I'm waiting for you to say what you're going to say. <laughs> What you gonna say? Go ahead. You 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 got the floor, ma'am. Um, you know, I told you that in fact you told me, you mm-hmm. said, let me know. Yes, I did. If it gets to that point. Yes. Uh, okay, yes, yes, I did. Yes, and I so did. my response today after service was me letting you know. Oh, okay. Because okay. now I I I find myself or found myself mm-hmm. um this morning even. And I was like, Lord, please, Lord, please. please. Okay, when was when, when we walked in the building, or was it? I mean, because I, oh yeah, this is before we even got to church. Really? Yes. Oh, you didn't tell me that. I know. No. Okay. I was talking. But to this, the Lord. this is this is new, y'all. So I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna listen to her talk. Go ahead. <clears throat> so, I was talking with the Lord. Mm-hmm. What do you say? <laughs> 
I'm trying to laugh, y'all, because right now I ain't, I'm not really feeling this this one here. But y'all, um, what y'all see is what y'all get. Because I'm, I'm, I'm really bothered by this whole situation, to say the least. As as I was talking with the Lord, mm -hmm. um, I, I really did not <clears throat> get any clear cut mm -hmm. answer mm -hmm. until service started. Until service started. Until service started. Okay. And now, when you say service started, are mm -hmm. you talking about service started when you walked into the sanctuary or are no. you talking about service? I'm talking about after praise and worship. Okay. After praise and worship, because I said, okay, I, I, I'm, they're singing songs that I like so yeah. and that I know. Yeah. So I'm not going to let this hinder me right. from praising God because first of all, he's been too good to us right. for me yes. not to do that, yes. no matter what we're going right. through. Right. So I right. wanted to make sure that I was present in the worship this yeah. morning. Yeah. So I, that that. Well, do you place. did you like the work? Do you do you like the worship at the church? I do. I love the worship, okay. which is really one of the things that bothers me and and that kind of hurts a lot mm -hmm. because we have been looking for, for this for years for a long time. It's been, no, it's been for years. It's been for years. Yes. It's been for years. For years. I mean. For years. The churches that we have been to, that mm -hmm. we have been a part of, mm -hmm. could not compare nope. to what we nope. had or had or whatever. Yeah, yeah. What we had yeah. at this particular yes. place. Right. So when the service started, I mean, after praise and worship started, and then the precious little babies, they sang. Mm -hmm. That was so mm -hmm. sweet. Yeah. After that, when the pastor came up. Mm -hmm. Well, what's the series that he's teaching? What's the series? He's teaching on. What's um, the title of the series? Spirit versus flesh. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. So, Which is ironic. Very ironic. Um, as he was teaching, mm -hmm. I was puzzled. I was perplexed mm -hmm. in my spirit and perturbed. And perturbed, yes. In and, my and, spirit. and a little pissed. All of those things. <laughs> perturbed, perplexed, uh, I'm and I'm trying pissed. to laugh, y'all, but That's I don't feel piece. like it. I don't feel I don't feel like laughing, but I'm laughing to keep myself from anyway. Go ahead. So <sighs> because the scripture that he was using mm -hmm. was not being applied to the very situation that we're dealing with. Go ahead, talk. Go ahead. Go ahead. People so as we were reading the scriptures, as mm -hmm. we were reading the verses, and then as he began to expound on them, I'm like, do you not hear what you're saying? Right. So it, it just left me with, um, it, it, it left me with even more concern. Very much concern. And then after that, you know, the, the, it was kind of brought to my attention even before we walked into the service. That's what I'm saying. It was before you about, walked in. Yeah, before you walked in. That's why I was asking. Well, yeah, you. I hadn't even paid attention to it until someone brought it to my attention. And what did that person say without mentioning any names? What did, yeah, what I'm did not going to mention yeah. names. What did they say? Um, they mentioned to me, did I notice how everybody was dressed in a certain color? And what color was that? Blue. It was blue and white or blue and something. Blue and white. Uh, yeah. Blue and white. But I don't know what these people, so, uh, fraternities no, they, and sororities they are. They I should. mean, I don't know what their colors are. Is what oh, I'm yeah. Okay, okay. I only know one color. Okay. And that's the pink and green. But okay. I don't I don't know the other ones. Mm -hmm. So um, I assume their their colors were blue. Yes. Or blue and white or whatever. Yes. yes. So it was a, a little sea of those people wearing those particular colors. Right. And... Then they all sat off to the side mm -hmm. when service started. And then after that, then attention was brought to them. Publicly. Publicly. Public attention. More than acknowledgement once. Acknowledgement. More than once. Of who they were and why they were gathered and why they were over there. And they kept referring to the-, the In a reserve uh, section. In a reserve section. The divine nine. Yes. Yes. Let's give them a hand and thank yeah. them for joining us today. And yep. You know, and because all before that, I think two weeks ago, it was a sign up sheet for, for all line. of them to get together and yes. try to plan this, whatever they were having today. Yep. yep. Um, and that was the first that we had heard of it. Right. The whole 10 months we've been there. This is the first that we've first ever heard, heard of. of it. So, and, yeah, it, it was Zeta Phi Beta and mm -hmm. Sigma Gamma. 
Okay, so that's who there today. Beta Phi and Sigma Gamma Rho. Those are the two frats and sorrows. Uh, uh, Were there any guys? No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Zeta, Zeta Phi Beta and yeah. Sigma are both for, are both sororities, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, both sororities. I didn't yeah. see any frats. No, no, there were no frats right now. So yeah, both of them were uh, both of them were sororities. And again, just show you how I'm for me. I, I don't, you know, I know about the divine now. Mm -hmm. I know about, but I'm saying as far as um, um, how they get together and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, me I, I didn't, I didn't know that it would be, you know, it, come first of all at, at the church we attend, right? Mm -hmm. I know about the origins. I know about you know the the founders. I know what is steeped in and all that kind of stuff. But as far as their colors, yeah, I, don't I know, know nothing about that. And, and neither only, do I care. I only know AKAs. That's the only one I yeah, know. And, and neither do I, I care. I don't know anybody else's. Right. So um, yeah, but go ahead. But yeah, so then when the attention was brought to them before service, then the attention was brought to them again after service. After service. At least twice. No, I know it was before, during, and after. Before service, mm -hmm. it was brought. Uh, uh, well, no, actually, so they they. It was in the announcements. It was in, the announcements. Right? That it, 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 it was it was in the announcements in the beginning. At in, the beginning. In, in the beginning, yes. Yeah. And then at the end, you know, he had just basically gave the announcements again about them meeting in the foyer mm -hmm. uh, for the divine nine. But then but, also the pastor had right. That's what them. I'm saying. Before the announcement came yeah. after church, the pastor. Uh, brought attention Publicly to them as well. Acknowledged, acknowledged them, them. And, yeah. thanked, and thank God that they were there worshiping with them. And so that mm -hmm. for me, that's and and, and and again, this is not an attack, but I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. That's no different since 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 the Panhellenic Council, the Divine Nine, originates in paganism, which is of Satan. That's no different than saying. Thank God for welcoming. You know, let's welcome. Let's give the hand clap of praise. Give God a hand clap of praise for you know the Church of Satan that's, that's just joined us today. Hmm. That's that's how that's how I equate this, because why would I acknowledge an organization or organizations whose foundation is steeped in paganism and idolatry? I mean, and it's not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not dissing anybody. I'm just being direct in my assessment. It is no different than me saying that, hey, the Church of Scientology, you know, has has come to worship with us, or the Nation of Islam has have come to worship with us, or Black Lives Matter organization has come to worship with us, you know, today. Let's give a hand. Let's give, let's give God praise for 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 them coming today. Like, no, 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 you know. So. Uh, you know, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think that this is something that is taken serious, man. I mean, this, you know, this, this has caused this, this has caused disruption. Would it have been you know? any different for you if it had not been spoken of across the pulpit? Yeah, it would have been. It would have been different. Um, it would have been different, somewhat tolerable. Mm -hmm. But the fact that they, that they, I mean, during worship and it's like not you're parading paganism across the stage across the uh you know i mean just just it, it's it's involved in in what we were doing mm -hmm. um and then the pastor identified himself as as a as a capital mm. on stage now again i'm not making any of this stuff up it'd be different if it wasn't public, it's public because it's on the channel. So we have a right to talk about it. Um, and I'm going to stand by my own principle that I see in scripture as well, too. When you do something publicly, when you say something publicly, it's fair season. It's, it's fair game for anybody to say something, whether they want to do a response video to what I say. I don't care. Just as long as you represent the individuals right and you're not trying to, you know, mischaracterize and, 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 and trying to discredit someone, mm -hmm. you know, that's different. But. Yeah, this this is this is disturbing because again, you know, you you were talking about you came into the church, uh, a sister identified it. As a matter of fact, she picked up on it. Yeah, she picked up on it right away, and she, she asked and, me, and, and I did not, because I thought, hey, I thought, you know, because I look at it when, cause well, the, because yeah, the praise team they always, they always coordinate. coordinate, yeah, every week. So I thought, okay, well, maybe you know, maybe that's what it is. But then when I saw a whole sea of them, because there's only like ten. <laughs> 
There's only like ten people on the praise uh, team. You said a whole sea of them. Like yes. I mean, so it, it, I, I, I'm, I'm thinking you ain't just talking about the praise team. You're talking about the whole section. Yeah, because okay, it yeah. was them and the and <laughs> yeah. the uh, sorority people. Yeah, it, it they was, all had on the same color. Yeah, so they kind of all blended in together over there. Yeah, yeah. Um, but so, but so, share, share your share your your story because you was telling me what, what what made you decide for yourself. What why, why was that it for you? Well, I mean, I basically said it. That was. That was kind of um, the last straw, I think, for me, because I can't. What was the second straw? The second one was what we just talked about. The executive thing. Okay, what well, you did with me. Yeah. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, because okay. I, I, don't, I don't even want to go down that rabbit hole. But. Now you got people's ears peaked. I, I, we'll just say this. I, I, say what you mean and mean what you say. Right. Let your yay be yay and your nay be nay. Yeah, yeah. You, I mean, if, yeah, if you're gonna if you're gonna do something, um, and in, in in fact, continue talking. I'm gonna look at Proverbs. And on quick. top of that, if you are not going to move forward with whatever it was that you laid out on the table to mm-hmm. begin with, mm-hmm. then at least say that. Yeah. Don't be silent. Yeah. Don't just go somebody and not say and act like you didn't bring all that up before. Yeah. Don't yeah. act like we the ones that's crazy. Right. And no, I didn't say now, that. Now, for the record, I already know there's going to be some haters, you know, dancing a jig and laughing, you know, like the, the protestias and the, and uh, the mom. Uh, uh, well, the reason why I'm saying this is because there's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a channel that's been making videos about the stuff that we've been talking about. T-G-O-T. That, this guy over there. That's what it's called. I had in it, I ended up blocking them, but somebody had put me up on game. So oh. for those of you who are out here laughing, we first of all, I'm not depressed, disappointed in how this has affected, you know, our family and the body of Christ. But this doesn't stop what we're doing over here. Oh no. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. I just want to put y'all on notice and let people know that I see what they're doing. And the reason why I'm saying that is because mm-hmm. I know that these people have been watching and have been following me. Um, because people have been putting me up on what they've been what they've been doing. But I already oh, blocked okay. this clown. But the reason okay. why I say that is because again, you know. We're we're not we're not attacking the church. We're not attacking the pastor. We're just sharing y'all sharing with y'all what we this have is just done. Us. this is this is our yeah, story. This is our story. You know this is we have the right we to do that, right? And we have a right to share that, right? Um, we're not lying about it. No, it's, it's this is what happened. This this, this is, is this happened. this is this is the real. This is what happened. So you know, so the first strike was a, was a was a tithing in the in the I guess you can say. You know, uh, telling people to to give under compulsion mm-hmm. and to give, you know, out of out of you know manip- manipulation. We can't we can't do that, y'all. People give according to the Bible says Second Corinthians eight twelve according to what they have, right? Not according to what you don't have. And then we don't take scriptures out of context to try to make tithing apply for the Old Testament. We, and we also don't tell people that since, since tithing predated the Old Testament, then then that means we should be tithing. No, it doesn't, because tithing was never money in the first place. And they had money in the Old Testament. They had shekels. That was that was coinage. That was currency. So you, you can't you can't use those those texts to make it apply. And if it predated the law, then that means we're not under the law to give. No 10%. And you can't use you can't use Melchizedek because Abraham only gave one time and it wasn't uh, it wasn't of his own resource. It was of the spoils that he won. From the, that, he, that he retreated back from the five kings that he fought against. So you can't mm-hmm. use that. So I'm just saying, you know, it, it, let's be biblical, y'all. And if God is going to supply, you know, our needs, we don't have to manipulate people. We don't have to gaslight people. We don't have to, you know, uh, uh, you know, guilt trip people to do anything. And, mm-hmm. and, and I'm saying that because it ain't just about our situation. There's plenty of you watching this video right now know exactly what we're talking about mm-hmm. and know exactly how we feel. And it resonates with y'all. And so we're, we're talking to you. We're not talking to those that are out here that basically don't, ain't trying to be involved in anybody's church or be connected to any ministry. We're talking to those that are, that are searching. We're talking to those who are really looking for a place to worship and to fellowship with other believers. Mm-hmm. And it's hard. It is hard. It is very hard. And, then and we, if they've been let down too. Yeah. You know, we're not the only ones not the only who ones. have been let down even after right. going through membership <laughs> right. class. Yeah. This you know? video is for y'all. This yeah. video is for y'all. We, we, we feel y'all. We, uh, we understand. So, you know, again, um, so it, it was, you know, the, the, the tithing thing was strike one, but we was, but we was wanting to say, okay, you know, we'll just file it away. 
to have a conversation because maybe, you know, when somebody talked to him about it or hopefully somebody may talk to him about it and say, hey, maybe y'all need to, you know, amend your position regarding this. What do we see? What do we see tithing in the, in the New Testament for the believer to obligate themselves to give 10 percent of their income? Where, where do we see that? And, and if a person, now listen, if you want to do that, then praise God. Do do what the Lord has called you to do. Mm-hmm. But we can't mandate that and make people submit to something that the scriptures don't teach. And then my thing is, if pastors are not even willing to have a conversation about it, then that tells you something. Right. Because if you're saying, well, you ain't going to convince me otherwise, well, then you, what you're telling me is that the word of God is not, is not, is not the standard. Your convictions are the standard. Because you're not going to convince anybody that is commanded in the New Testament for new believer, New Testament believers to, to obey. You're not. Unless you believe that the church is Israel and Israel is the church, then don't just receive the blessings, receive the curses that Israel got right now that they're under two. You can't have it. You can't have this one way. So that's the first thing. Second thing, like you said, was about the, you know, the, I'll just say ministry opportunity. Mm-hmm. Ministry yeah. opportunity that was presented and, and has been <clears throat> basically, I don't, you know, you want to say renege or remove or send it. I don't know, but, but, I'm not taking any of these things personal. And not that we were... It's the principle of the thing. Yeah, it was the principle of the thing. It's not that we were saying that this was a guaranteed thing. Right. Because it wasn't. This was a a, a topic of discussion, mm-hmm. so to speak. It was an opportunity that was laid out mm-hmm. before us, or right. before my husband, basically. Right. And now it seems like there's no been there's been no there talk has about been it. no conversation no, about no, it at all. No, no follow up. No, no nothing. No, no. When I when I when I when I was was told that you'll get a uh, description of your responsibilities given to you, I said okay, you know, and be waiting, been waiting, been waiting, and 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 nothing. So I said okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm not the person that's gonna gonna you know chase somebody down about something that you said that you want me to do. Mm-hmm. Or that you have presented for me to either consider or to, you know, I mean, I, I, I'm just saying that's not me. So I filed that, but that was strike two. But this right here makes strike three. This right here makes strike three. There's there's no way of us trying to 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 sit under that if there's no willingness to consider what message that sends to the body of Christ mm-hmm. when it comes to when it comes to the very the very sermons in the series that you're talking about. And how does that how does that correlate and and align and concur with the scriptures? It 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 doesn't. And let me say this. I'm gonna say this. Um as clear and as anyway, I'm gonna just say this. If any of you from the mob or whoever, if you went to leadership and somehow found out where we were attending church and you put lies and deceit and twisted words into the mind of the person that suggested to do ministry with my husband and I. And because of what you said, things have now changed and you're happy about that. And you dancing a jig about that now. I promise you, God mm-hmm. will deal with you. Of course. And that's why I'm not, that's why I'm not even tripping about it. To be honest with you, I'm, I'm tripping about the fact that what's being done and what's being brought before God's people can cause can go, can cause God's people to fall into the very carnality and the very worldliness that we're being taught to to abstain and mm-hmm. avoid. That's the thing that's that's really uh, concerning to me. And again, you know whether I talk to him about it or not. That's gonna be up to the Lord for the Lord to decide, um, because you know, in a in a technical sense, you know, we went through the the seven weeks, um, we went through the seven weeks, hadn't hadn't signed anything, uh, we just signed our name saying we attended the seven week class, mm-hmm. but nonetheless, you know, we we have been consistently and faithfully, you know, attending and and being a part of the of the church. I mean, I wanted to you know use my you know gifts and and. Uh, in, in ministry, I uh, wanted my wife and my, my children to, to, to use there to get connected, you know, uh, wherever the Lord, you know, led them to, we were going to fellowship, you know, breakfast and things like that. My wife was attending, you know, women's ministry, um, uh, gatherings and breakfast and things like that. So it, it wasn't where we just were sitting back 
and just going and then we wanted to be involved. We wanted mm-hmm. to connect ourselves with, with the, you know, with the church. So this is very disappointing. Yeah. It, it is, it is, it is very uh, disappointing. You know, and all I'm, all I'm saying is, is that pastors and, 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 and leaders need to be very mindful of the things that they bring into the church or the things that they acknowledge as not being an issue Fraternities and sororities are a huge issue, and and Christians need to be mindful of that. They need they need, they need to stay away from those things, and they need to follow up and study on on the origins of these things. There there are there are plenty of videos out here of of Christian men and women denouncing frats and sororities. Mm-hmm. Why would they do that? And and some of these people have been die hard frat, die hard sororities. Oh, yeah, and they said the Lord opened their eyes. And saw how demonic it was at its origin and the things that they, I mean, and at one time they was like, no, no, I I couldn't see myself. But the Lord had to open. So my prayer is that God opens up the eyes of the churches we attended, you know, start from the top down. Because you can't, you you can't be a leader and think that what you say doesn't carry weight. It does, you know. Um, Some of these people have been branded. Yeah, yeah. For yeah. the fraternities, I don't yeah, think I, any, I don't think any of the sisters uh, sororities do that, but not to my knowledge. But I know the frats do, yeah, or did. Yeah, and, and it's just sad. Um, so again, you know, we're we're trying to uh, figure out what the Lord was wanting us to do um, with this. Um, I, I think that you know we didn't make any rush decision. You know, th- these are things that we did not know um, until after the fact. And that's that's kind of like what, what what how life does. I mean, you based on the information that you have, you make decisions. You make a decision, right? And so, based on the information that we had, we made the decision, and we said, okay, we're we're willing we're willing to say, okay, with this right here, we can we can set that aside. We can set this tithing thing aside because we know how God has commanded and told us to give in His Word, and that's what we're going to do. But these other two basically just just stacked on top of the first one. You know, and again, I'm going to leave it up to the Lord for me whether or not, you know, um, I'm going to ever have a conversation, you know, with the uh, with the pastor. Uh, I just know that we can't attend. We can't attend that, that fellowship. And it's sad and it's as it's, it's bad as that that is um, and as grievous as it is to us. I have to stand on God's word. I have to stand on principle. I don't. I don't foresee them stopping what they're doing anytime soon. Uh, I. I don't. I would. I would pray and I would hope that the pastor would have someone to speak with him about it and have his position changed about it and, and to teach the uh, teach a series on on the dangers mm-hmm. of fraternities and sororities, i.e., secret societies, because. What would a Christian need to be a part of a secret society for? I mean, if you think about that, mm-hmm. what, what is it? What is it about a fraternity and sorority that you, as a Christian, would want to be a part of that no one else can be a part of except you? Secret handshakes and this and that. Why? Why? The right hand of fellowship for the believer is our handshake. You know, how we bring each other into, in, how he, each person is brought into the kingdom by the grace and power and spirit of God. That's not a secret thing. That's baptism. That's public, that's public confession of sin through baptism. How, how do we, how do we recognize each other's, you know, uh, unity in the faith through the body of Christ? Baptism and the Lord's Supper. I mean, and then these, these frats and sororities are singing hymns. Mm. You're singing hymns to a false god, to a fraternity, to a sorority. And you can't tell me that that's not true because I, I have the ritual book. And my goal is to get, you know, get the other ones. Uh, and, my, and my goal also is to have a, a panel discussion mm-hmm. of, with, with uh, current and former fraternity and sorority uh, members. And for us to have a discussion biblically about this. Again, I, this is not an attack, y'all. This is this is really this is really disappointing and heartbreaking um, because we see how we see what sin does. We see what a little leaven does to the whole lump. 
and it affects everyone. And again, we're not the only we're not the only couple who's made it their decision that today was their last day attending this church. We're not the only one. You know what I'm saying? So, but we're, we're just one of the ones that's basically, you know, saying it um, because we got to start having conversations about this, man. I mean, it, it's, it's, I mean, I know we're not the only ones that's dealing with this, um, but sad to say, we just, we thought we had we, found yeah, this yeah. at home. It's like, man, I mean, how hard is it, y'all? I mean, why, why can't we just do, do what the word of God says? Um, I'm, I'm looking at first Peter and then we'll, we'll, we'll stop, I guess. I mean, it just. Yeah, like I said, this 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 video here, man. I am. You know, y'all just got to deal with it, y'all. I mean, this is where we are. Uh, y'all y'all won't love life, marriage with the woods. Well, you got it. Uncut, raw. Um, First Peter, chapter one, verse fourteen. As obedient children, do not be conformed to the former lusts, which were yours in your ignorance, but like the Holy One who called you. Be holy yourselves also in all your behavior, because it is written, you shall be holy, for I am holy. And we all know the verse, Romans 12, 1 and 2. Therefore, I urge you, brethren, by the mercies of God, present your bodies a living and holy sacrifice, acceptable to God, which is your spiritual service of worship. And do not be conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you may prove what the will of God is, that which is good, acceptable, and perfect. Matthew 12, 46 through 50. While he was speaking to the crowds, behold, his mother and brothers were standing outside seeking to speak to him. Someone said to him, that is to Jesus, behold, your mother and your brothers are standing outside seeking to speak to you. But Jesus answered the one who was telling him and said, who is my who is my mother and who are my brothers? And stretching his hand toward his disciples, he said, Jesus said, Behold, my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of my father who is in heaven, he is my brother and sister and mother. So dear question. Mm -hmm. Yep. Question. Simple simple question that text we just read mm -hmm. he said those who do the will of my father are my mother my, my my sisters and my brothers so how can i be a brother or be a frat brother of a fraternity whose god is not the god of scripture how, how can you be a sorority sister to an organization or to a sorority whose origin and founder of that that god is not the god of scripture the contrary and I don't, I don't think, I don't think we, um, we understand that. I, I, I really don't. Um, that, that is um, a problem, a huge problem, I think. Now, some of y'all may not, may not think that it is, um, but I think that that's the problem. The problem comes is what, what, what does the word of God say? And now we're going to be obedient to what, um, to what he says. Um, Deuteronomy chapter six. In verse 13 and 14, but I'll let you read it here. I'll let you see it here on the screen. You shall fear. He's talking to, to Israel, but the principle is, is, is uh, we can glean from it. You shall fear only the Lord your God, and you shall worship him and swear by his name. You shall not, you shall not follow other gods or any of the peoples who surround you. For the Lord your God is in the midst of you is a jealous God. Otherwise, the anger of the Lord, your God, will be kindled against you, and he will wipe you off the face of the earth. So, again, he's, 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 he's warning Israel on how they are to worship God. So now, is Israel's God our God? Yes. Are we to, are we to follow the moral commandments of God? Yeah. He says, he, thou shalt not have no other gods before him. No other gods. So these gods of the of the of the divine nine, these are gods that we should not ever give our allegiance or our our lives to, mm. let alone sing psalms. Matter of fact, we're supposed to sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs to the Lord. To the Lord, yeah. Believers are to do that. So 
I, I, you know, anyway, I just, like I said, if you're going to worship God, make sure it's the God of Scripture. And if you're going to bring people into your into your congregation, they should be acknowledged as brothers and sisters in Christ, but not brothers and sisters of, you know, Zeta Phi Beta or Sigma Gamma or Alpha Phi Alpha or mm -hmm. Omega Phi. It, 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 no, no, no. Jesus says his brother and sisters and mother are those who do the will of the Father. That's what he says. So which family do we have? For the believer, our family is an eternal family. These families of in, in brotherhood and sisterhood of these fraternities and sororities, these are families that these are this that's a brotherhood sisterhood that's gonna fade away. Yeah. But Christ's family never fades away. We have an eternal kingdom fixed and situated in the heavens, whose builder and maker is God, he says. So that's that's where I am with it. But again, you know, if we're gonna be Christians, man, let's let's I mean, and if we're gonna be a church, let's be the church that God has called us to be. We're to be we're to be set apart from the world. How can we be set apart from the world if we're doing what the world does? We're mimicking and copycatting the world and thinking that that's worship. That's not worship, y'all. So yeah, I mean, this is this is um, heartbreaking, but this is where we are. And uh, you know, we ask for your prayers. We do ask for your prayers. We ask for the Lord to uh, guide us in this. And again, I, I said it. I don't know how many times I'm gonna say it again. This is not an attack. And if you're taking this as an attack, then you're not listening to what we just said. We, we're yeah. being we're being honest and transparent and forthright and keeping it real with you, the viewers, and those who may watch this video, even if you're from the church that we that we attended. You know, again, this we're not we're not coming with animus. We're not coming with, you know, uh, strife or hatred or trying to, you know, quote unquote, expose. No, it's on the channel. <laughs> I mean, y'all publicly put it out there. So if you publicly put it out there, then people can publicly respond to it. And um, and so that's what we're doing. Uh, but anyway, um, if you don't mind, please do the following. Please like the video. Please subscribe to this video. Please share this video. We would appreciate it. We thank you so much in doing that. Uh, again, if you would like to support the ministry financially, you can do that by clicking the donation links below at the bottom of this video. And as you see, tickered across the screen that my wife likes now. But uh. But uh, but yes, you can do that. We would definitely appreciate that uh, as well. Um, this will help keep our channel and um, operating um, ventures that we have uh, consistent and going. Also, if you would like to support the ministry through the BCV merchandise, thanks to our daughter Snoopy Nose, the hats are now uh, on the in the catalog. So you can go to the link below, or you can click the link here, or, or right in the link that you see that's ticket across the uh, the screen as well too. And, as well. and also, we're going to yes design our love, life, and we marriage oh, merch. Yeah. Okay, we are. Huh? Yes. yes, and hopefully also <laughs> get some body life merch. Yes, we want to do both. Absolutely, yes, we are. And so we'll be keeping you posted with that. And also, we are we're working on the uh, our our website. We we'll give you the name of that coming soon. Yeah. Uh, so we're, we're looking forward to what God is doing uh, as well. So even though this was a somber, somewhat, um, I guess you a somber, serious update, update, updated video. God is still in control. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's still in control. He's still on the throne. We're not, we're not despaired. You know, somewhat disappointed. You know, what I'm saying, um, um, but nonetheless, we know that you know God. He definitely knows what he's doing uh, because he's the one that's in charge. And so, again, just keep us in your prayers. Uh, we'll definitely keep you all posted as things develop. Uh, pray for us. Pray how the Lord wants me to respond and go forward with this as well. We'd be appreciated in, you know, in, in, in the uh, comments. You can let us know what you think about this video as well, too. We would love to hear from you um, as well. We did that whole hour. We have had not done yeah. an hour. Y'all know we've been dealing with some stuff, man. Listen, yeah, a whole hour. And that's yeah. just what we can just come off our heads with right now. Yeah. <laughs> so it, it could go longer. Yeah, but. yeah, but we we're gonna we're gonna wrap it up. But anyway, we thank you all so much. And uh until next time. Bye. Bye.